you know, I, I think that the, you know, both teams struggled so much offensively in the first half. It was painful. Um, you know, some of it's defense, but it was mostly bad, really bad offense. And I think that, you know, we got down. We were gonna we were gonna press. I thought they handled it pretty good. They got by it three or four times, but we had to press to keep the tempo up hoping they miss or we get a steal and they missed a couple we got a couple and then we got a couple steals and uh you know we got our offense going uh O'Shea is a very good player he hasn't shot the ball well but we know he can shoot it and he picked a a real good day to to shoot it today and Tyus made some plays. Frank made some really good plays in there. So I thought it was a great comeback effort. Uh, I think Georgetown uh, is, uh, I think Patrick's got them playing well. I think they've got a good basketball team. I wasn't concerned about who they'd played. It's, you know, how good you are. Uh, I've seen Georgetown win a national championship with the same schedule. It's how you, what, what kind of players you got. It's not who you play. It's a myth if you get you think you get better by playing good teams. You get better by playing good teams if you're a good team. But uh, they've got a good basketball team. Uh, Joe, Jesse's very good inside. Um, I think they, you know, it was their first game against the, an active zone. They missed some threes, and, you know, that was a, a big part of it. But uh, they attacked us the right way. They did everything right. Uh, we just got a couple steals on the press and made a couple big shots to get back in it. And then I thought we had a really good chance in, re- in regulation with that last jump shot. And we got two offensive rebound, easy tries around the basket. But uh, we had some momentum going into overtime. And Tyus, you know, he, when he, he actually was shooting like this early in the year and he got hurt. In the game, he took a bad fall, and he hasn't really shot it well since then. I think he's finally got back. His back is better now, and uh, that's the way he shot it in the beginning of the year. So that's not a, not surprising. But it was, a, it was a good win, come from behind, a great crowd. Um, you know, it was a lot like it used to be. No, uh, just there wasn't any blood on the floor. It's the only difference. Facing so much zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. We we knew they had it, but we, yeah, I was surprised. Uh, we actually weren't doing much against their man to man, but they got in foul trouble, and I think that was a move. And and we didn't attack the zone at first, and you know we should know how we play against it every day, but we didn't. And then we finally started to attack it a little bit. And, and the bottom line is, you play against the zone. You know, you you got to make some shots and. Frank got in for some layups, but Tyus and O'Shea made shots. That was the difference in the second half. The guard play was pretty dominant, uh, especially in the second half. Frank Howard. Is Frank was great. Yeah, he was. He struggled a little bit, made some some mistakes, but he he plays through those mistakes now. And uh, you know, he's he's had a couple games where he's made some bad mistakes, but he's played through it, and that's the difference this year. He's he he played through it. He made. Huge drives when we were really out of the game. He made, I think, three drives all the way uh, when we were really, really, we were in trouble. And then, then, and then O'Shea hit a couple and Tyus hit a couple. But uh, those three guys, you know, we need that third guy. We, uh, that's, you know, I thought the other guy I thought Marek did a good job rebounding. Pa- Matt Moyer did a good job on the boards. Our big guys, uh, Obama or Barama, yeah. It's a good Freudian, a little Freudian mistake there, here, but uh, he's uh, he's been out. He just isn't the same player. His ankle is just not right. He can't move, and his game is movement. Uh, Pascal is still figuring out, trying to get there. He, we need those two guys to get a lot better. Bottom line. Yeah, I mean it's a big game. It's it's never as big when you're not in the same league. You know, it's different, but it's still a big game. You know, it is. And the fans liked it. You know, I don't know what they've drawn here, but I I think that's you know. Yeah, I mean they're you know our fans came. I don't know how many we we had a few fans. We get a few here, but I thought it was a great crowd, and it's still a it's still a viable game in my mind. So we'll hopefully keep we'll keep playing them. 
you know, he stepped out and nobody's seen him shoot the ball. And then he made a, he made an early drive, a spin move, got to the basket, and then uh, he he stepped out and hit a three. And then he just got confident. He can shoot. We know he can shoot. He just hasn't shot it in the game from the three. But he, you know, we know he can do it. And uh, you know, he's a, a very good offensive player. And uh, you know, he. he we just needed to get him going. Yeah, I think he had one at halftime, so that's a pretty big turnaround right there. What uh, change for Tyus there in the second half when he wasn't getting much going? Well, he had four buckets in the first half, I think. I don't know. He had four buckets in the first half, but he felt confident. And uh, when he gets his confidence, I knew in overtime he just was looking for those those two shots over there, and, you know, he knocked them down. They were They were the difference in the game him making those shots. Three point line was obviously the, usually it works the other way against us but today uh, the three point line worked for us which is highly unusual. I think we're 350 out of 351 in the country. You mentioned uh, the three point shot was kind of like three pointers second half and overtime was it something in the offense or was it just Tyus and O'Shea just you know they're playing zone, and the, you know they're in foul trouble. They're playing zone, and we're getting the, we we got them the ball in the right spots, and they moved a little bit better. We moved the ball a little bit better, and uh, O'Shea's a hard guy to guard when he's in the four spot. He can step out and get to the corner. You know he's a difficult guy to find when he's shooting that shot. He's hard to play. He's hard to guard. Talk about detention of pressing as much as you did. You denied. Yeah. Trap. Yeah. Such a short. Yeah, we uh, we work on our press every day, pretty much in practice. We don't expect to use it a lot, but we knew coming in here we might have to. They actually handled it very well. They got through it. And they got a couple dunks and uh, a couple layups, but there was a little point there where uh, they missed a, they rushed a layup and missed it, and then they missed a jumper, and then we got a couple steals, and that that was what you're pressing for. You're 10, 10, 12 down. You can't win the game unless you either get them to miss a shot in transition, or you get a steal. And we finally got a couple steals, and uh, you know they missed a couple, and that's how you know we got back in it. You now it's really surprising to be able to come all the way back, tie it, and then have the ball at the end to make a play when we had a good shot and we had a, two layup shots, I think, or three. We really got on the boards good. That's what we've been doing. That's the way we've been playing all year, getting on the boards. We didn't get on the boards early in the game at all, but we got on it there. That could have been then over right then. You know, I, I we, I, I don't worry about that. You know, it's it's the fans don't win games. You know, it's you, you, you know it's hard to play on the road. You know, it's it's very difficult um, because of you know a couple different factors, but it's it's mostly you know how good the other team plays at home. Everybody plays a little better at home, and uh, but we've always been a good road team until last year, and you know we've always played well on the road, and a lot depends on the officiating, and they were solid. They didn't, you know, the calls went both ways, and you know so you have a chance, you know, a chance in those situations to win, but. Um, you know, you've got to be able to play on the road. Last year's the first year, really, in a long time that we've not played very well on the road. And um, so, again, you know, we'll get many, many opportunities to play on the road this year ahead of us, and it's never easy. Never easy. Jim, you were asked about this rivalry. How much was Patrick's presence on the sideline? You know, Patrick was the best player we've ever, you know, big guy we've ever faced, and it was a great rivalry. We we were fortunate to even beat him a couple times when he went there. Went to George. I didn't think we might beat him at all, but we were able to beat him a few times. But he brought tremendous, uh, 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 tremendous uh, basketball ability and determination to the game. I have one that always appreciated that he played like a warrior. That's the way you should play basketball. He played as hard as you can play, and I I've rarely saw anything, if I ever saw anything from him that was outside the lines. He just played hard, went after the ball, and primarily, pretty much that's the way Georgetown played. They went after it, 
There's always going to be some scuffly when you play that hard and that physical. And the league was a different league than it was physical. Everybody was physical. If you weren't, you know, you just might as well take your ball and go home because you're not going to win. But he brought tremendous uh, excitement and energy and, and, and recognition to the Big East Conference. He made it. I've, I've always said that was Patrick really the name recruit and then Pearl and Chris, who made the Big East. Dave Gavitt structured it and got it going and told all the ADs to just be quiet and listen to him, which they did, and he built the Monster League, but it was those three guys that made the league and, uh, you know, made a lot of people. It's unfortunate the things, you know, Dave knew when he went to the Celtics, he knew the league was not going to last. It's, it had no chance to last. Mike knew it. Dave knew it. It lasted longer than it ever should have. When you got football, you got to play football, you know. It's the bottom line. And uh, so it was a great run. Went from no league to the best league in the country within five years. Is that right, John? I'm pretty accurate on that. Thanks, John. I know you know. And he was there right in the beginning with those guys. But they did something that's never been done, will never be done again in, in college basketball. And uh, the credit goes, obviously, to Dave and then Mike. But it goes to guys like Patrick and Chris, who came to the league, and Pearl, who came to the league. And our attendance went from 15,000 to 27,000 in one year. That's the difference that Pearl Washington made. And... Uh, I always kid John, Big John liked to come to Syracuse. He loved that game more than anything. He loved it the most when they threw him out, I think. But there's a lot of memories there. It'll never be duplicated in any league in my mind. I know North Carolina and Duke have had that, and that, I, I give that. But Georgetown Syracuse was, if you were there, you know what I'm talking about. If you weren't there, you missed something. This was a great game today. It was like a firecracker compared to a bomb to those games no no way in the same anywhere in the same neighborhood even not even in the same country not even sure on the same earth is that good enough did i give you enough things that, <laughs> but you know i was proud to be part of that we fought georgetown hard it was bitter for a long time but it was not at the end and it's certainly not now even though Big John always says something to get me mad, but uh, that, that's that's he's 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 earned that. He's entitled to do that. You know, once in a while, I might say something to get him mad too, but uh, I try not to. But this is a great game. It's a great rivalry. We're happy to be part of it, and uh, I'm proud of the way our guys came back in that game. It was not looking too good there for a while. Sometimes you go for the press and just hope. It was one of those days. Thank you. Thank you. Syracuse locker room.